Hi, my name is Luke Moroni from First Time Property Investing and I'm on the Prosperity Show to talk a little bit about property investing and your mindset around property investing and how you can move forward. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show and today we've got Luke. Luke Moroni, how are you doing today? Very good. How are you, Prosper? Fantastic. Now, Luke is a property investment coach. And whenever you're going to think of property or if you think property is out of reach, Luke can teach you all the strategies and the techniques that are available to anyone to get ahead in the, in the game, whatever your reason might be. Now, you might be um, you know, laboring and grinding in your entrepreneurial work, but you don't have places where you can invest your money. Property is um, you know, the name of the game. So Luke, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you can um, pretty much help entrepreneurs when they venture into the property game. Yeah, thanks, um, Prosper. I, just to take it a little bit back, I bought my first investment property back in 2002. Had quite a few struggles with that first investment and uh, realized over time that I really needed to get some education, some experience, and then a, a group of people around me to help me invest in property. And I thought that was the, the major factor in me moving forward with my investments. I took that first property that probably didn't grow in value for about 10 years because I bought it at the peak of the market, probably similar to what we've got in Sydney right now, and then grew that to a property portfolio of over 30 properties right now. So I had the experience, I, I've, I've been there and done that when it comes to um, property transactions and having, you know, working with tenants, working with buyers, agents, and various other people in terms of property investing. And now was, uh, I, I was in a position to ha start helping family and friends as we most, as most entrepreneurs do when they start out. And then took that forward with um, starting up a business, which is first time property investing. And now I help clients invest in property because I feel like that most people get into property investing and are basically just, you know, relying on some marketing material, um, go to the first property that they see and just and put a deposit down and they make so many mistakes to start out with. So it's all about avoiding the mistakes, looking for growth areas and working with a team of experts to not only buy that first property, but build a portfolio that's going to enable you to do what you really want down the track. Great stuff. So property investing isn't really just about property or just the accumulation of houses and apartments, right? Correct. Yeah, I would, you know, it's, it's about what it really is about for you. It's, you know, you obviously learn and um, about creating wealth and investing along the way, but what is it you really want? Is it to be an entrepreneur and start up your own business um, make more time available for family, for friends, um, be able to travel the world at different times and experience new things. So look, it could be something different for every single person and having that investment portfolio in the background sort of working with you, obviously there requires to be some involvement with you. It's not total passive investment, but if you get, can get something that is fairly passive in, in terms of investing and you don't have to spend too much time, because you've got that team of experts around you, well, then you can grow that property portfolio on the side while you're looking to, you know, leave that nine to five job, start your own business and whatever else it might be. Great stuff. So obviously, look, you are well experienced. You're already sitting on a 30 piece uh, property portfolio, which is remarkable, I must say. Um, in, in, I mean, given the, the, the trying times and the situation happening in Sydney and just the exorbitant property prices in and around um, uh, Australia. Now, walk me through the process that you would take somebody else. Like, let's say I myself knock on your door today and I'm like, look, look, I'm here, Mr. Moroni. I really need your help. What, what sort of stages are you taking the client through or what do you expect them to bring to the party? Yeah, well, I guess we're, to start off with, we, we just look at their current situation, um, look at what the possibilities of that for them in, in terms of investing. You know, you really want to see, if, um, especially in this time right now where lending is quite tight, um, we need to be wary of how much we can borrow. So it's a, a combination of reviewing the current situation, having a broker assess what's going on to see if we can move that, move the investing forward and then look at the possibilities of that investing and 
my most important factor is to take action. You know, I can give all the education about property investing, take you through each individual property that I've invested in, but it's, it's more about people getting in there and taking action. And some videos and, you know, social media stuff I've, I've been doing over the last couple of days is about people trying to seek perfection on their first property or their first business or whatever it might be. You know, we all know as entrepreneurs that, you know, mistakes happen. And if we can get in there and, and you know, start out with something and take some action, avoiding, you know, the majority of the risk when it comes to investing, then we can move forward. So it's the current situation, looking at the, the mortgage broker and what, what we can um, provide in, in terms of lending and then, and then planning and taking that action to purchase that, that first property. And then moving forward with the actual management of that portfolio to make sure we're minimizing the amount of time we're spending on our investment portfolio uh, in terms of that management side of things. So it's an all round scope of investing from A to Z basically. And to make sure that everyone is, is basically moving forward and taking that action and then able to manage it after they um, complete their first property transaction. And then we look to, you know, the exciting time start because I think the first one is always the hardest. And then you find that it just actually so, so easy. And it's, it becomes a point in time, I guess, like running any other business that, you know, it feels like you're just going down the road to buy, you know, bread and milk. So, you know, it, it comes to that point of view when you're actually, you know, building that portfolio of properties, when you've got a, you know, great team of people around you and you're working efficiently and you can move that property portfolio forward. Understandable. Obviously, being a property investor myself, I do know um, that, you know, creating an investment portfolio provides you with an additional revenue stream to your income. But in as much as it's exciting, you do keep referring back to taking action. So is there any sort of money mindset uh, shifts that need to happen or, you know, people's relationship with money and, you know, just really totally uh, moving along. What, what, what else are you helping people with in the process? Like we said, it's not just about buying the property, but there's a lot of action that needs to be taken. Yeah, it's a really good point. And it's one of the questions that I start up with in one of the first sessions that I run with clients is, you know, what is your relationship with money? What, you know, how do you feel about, you know, your spending habits? Are you budgeting for what is happening in your life? You know, um, are you making those expensive purchases that you don't really need to? Are you buying those fancy cars or fancy shoes, fancy clothes? And for some people it is yes. And everyone's different and I completely understand. But if you want to move forward and create that business for the future, and it's basically looking for the long term. Um, a lot of people's mindset when they're starting out is, or, you know, in, in their life is very short term, you know, and it's, there's a figure in Australia in terms of, um, the amount of money people, well, the actual, the percentage of people that actually live from paycheck to paycheck is just under 50%, which is uh, unbelievable. So 50% of the population that are working are living from paycheck to paycheck. I think it's about 47 to be, to be um, more accurate on that one. Well, look at this. If you're in Australia right now, you don't want to be that statistic of people that cannot, um, you know, um, garner their, you know, resources in order to invest so that you're not living from paycheck to paycheck. Now, back to you as, as, as an individual, look, you've got a history of being a tour guide. Does any of this help in your current position as, you know, guiding people um, you know, from, from, from where they are in, 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 in their whole investment sort of journey to, 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 to where you want to place them. Does, does that have anything to do with what you're doing right now? In terms of the money, is that what you're asking Prosper? Not in, in terms, terms of the money, of money mindset, the, the whole guiding people through, because some people are able to do the job as an investor, but they're not able to teach. So I'm just trying to see if your uh, experience as a tour guide has, you know, enhanced your, um, you know, your ability to be a coach uh, in this space. Yeah, it's, it's been, um, I guess, quite a journey in terms of us seeing clients be successful in terms of their purchasing and properties. Um, one of the early ones, which was a, a friend of mine before I sort of started out with the business, had a, a situation where 
they were at a loss of about 125,000 through a, a few prop property purchases. We were able to turn that round and in about sort of 18 months or two years, that, those losses were, were, were completely removed and now they're starting to move forward with gains and creating that wealth now. Um, they bought that portfolio from two properties all the way up to 16 properties. So they're being quite successful in turning that around. And I guess that journey for me is, is seeing the realization about, you know, what people can potentially do with maybe those slight mind shift changes, those slight ideas about money. And even this particular person has gone from a place where they've made mistakes at the start. They've got in contact with the wrong people that have advised them on, on property purchases. Then they've got up to a position where they've got a great team around them and they've turned around their story completely. So I know that there are a lot of people out there that may have made a property purchase or investment that they've done in the past that hasn't gone so well and they won't do it again. So there's like, and then tell everyone that property is no good for you um, or investing is not a good idea or whatever it might be. So it's about learning from those mistakes. And I guess we learn in our lives every day. So I guess that tour guide situation, what you're asking about um, is really something that I resonate with so much. Um, you know, I, it's one of, one of my mottos. So it's funny that you actually bring up that, that phrase tour guide. Um, cause I, I think I've done it a lot through my life in terms of going back and working in the travel industry. I worked on cruise ships for a while and, um, I've brought that forward to now coaching people in terms of their investing and, it, you know, making that real difference now in people's lives where they can, you know, turn around situations where they're just living from paycheck to paycheck or they've got a sum of money in the bank and they don't know what to do with it and we can move forward. And recently I had a client who, who has made one, uh, two purchases at the same time and you know, that was quite an incredible experience and very nerve wracking for them to do two properties at the one time, but they were able to do it um, with my help and with the team around us. Oh, great stuff. So obviously you're going to be doing all the work for them. You do the research, you test the product yourself. And what, what else are you including in this package? Just in case somebody's watching this now and, and is, sure. you know, sitting at the edge of their chair going, I really need to get in contact with Luke. And also let us know how we can get in touch with you. Yeah, sure. So um, what I set up is um, what the company started with one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So I provide the service of that one-on-one -on -one coaching in a 10 session program that I run. So uh, I'll meet up with clients, go through that particular session and it might be about money, it might be about goal setting, it might be about that taking action in terms of buying that investment properties and then meeting up with brokers or buyers agents or other people sourcing out property. So that's what encompasses the one-on-one -on -one sessions. I'm also starting up on the 20th of September, a workshop. So making it a little bit cheaper for people to get a start in, in terms of that mentoring. So that workshop will run over five sessions starting on the 20th of September. And it's going to run on um, Wednesday night, every fortnight um, going forward from the 20th of September. Um, the price on that workshop is $825 per person. And I'll be doing it in a group environment. And I think in terms of having that group atmosphere, people can find themselves accountable for each other. And then we can work with, you know, discovering what's holding some people back and they can work with each other in terms of, you know, moving forward and uh, having that account accountability for each other when it comes to their investing. Great stuff. Well, thank so, you. Oh. Yeah, sorry, just to, yeah, I was just saying, obviously the, the, the mentoring, one-on-one -on -one mentoring in the workshop, I think you asked about the contact details. So my website is uh, firsttimepropertyinvesting.com.au and my, my mobile number is 0400332377. Every, anyone's welcome to con contact me. I love having catch ups with people uh, I'm in the Des Moines area in Sydney. So, you know, anyone that's in that area and wants to chat about property, I'm always available to uh, have that chat. I love talking about property investing and, you know, feel free because I, you know, I start out with wanting to get to know people firstly before we just start in, in you know, before I start coaching them or mentoring them. Uh, you know, I really want to see if it's a base that we can add value to each other, not only with the coaching, but in our lives. And, you know, I'll sit there and talk to about property with people all day. So, you know, look forward to chatting with anyone who's interested in, in moving forward with property investing. 
Great stuff. Well, look, thank you so much. And if you've been watching this now, you have come to the conclusion that property investing isn't just about property and just the accumulation of houses, apartments, etc. You know, some people might just treat it as a game of monopoly, like what um, <laughs> <laughs> Luke is doing here. But the real question is, what is the real reason you want to be accumulating more wealth? So you want to be in touch with Luke and he will be able to, um, you know, help you understand your current situation and where exactly you want to go. Luke, thank you so much for your time today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It, it was a pleasure to talk to you and hopefully it gives someone, you know, make someone maybe think a little bit differently about property investing or, you know, other areas of their life to maybe move forward, take action. And that's, I guess, what you're about and, and that's what I'm about and what I do. So good luck with what you're doing. And I think you're um, providing a good platform for people to, you know, voice out their their thoughts and opinions and hopefully change a few minds out there understandable well obviously like you are also working um with people with their mindset and relationship with money and the way they do business there's, there's a lot of uh, misconceptions out there so you know the better the more voices out there you know making the change <laughs> the better it is and thank you so much for sitting with us today there look thank you prosper enjoyed it not a problem cool You've done this before, haven't you? A little bit. <laughs> Probably not as much as you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, the thing about me is I now refuse to be ignored. I mean,